Welcome inside the lines. I am Greg Sussman. He is Frank Stample. Tonight, the Knicks host the Indiana Pacers. And according to the FanDuel Sportsbook, they are a six and a half point underdog with the game total sitting at 212 and a half. Last time these two teams faced off, it was the Knicks getting the better of the Pacers in Indiana. But for that one, the Knicks had Marcus Morris. And the Pacers, well, they had Victor Oladipo just like they will tonight. But things haven't been going as well as could be expected. No, it hasn't been a great season for Victor Oladipo. We know that he's a great player, but since returning from that devastating injury, he has not been the same. In that game against the Knicks, he scored just seven points on two of 14 shooting. Speaking of those shooting woes, he's shooting just 33% from the field this season, Greg. And since he's returned, the Pacers are just two and six straight up, and they are three and five against the spread. So sometimes it takes time for an injured player to get back in the mix with the team and for them to start playing well. We know he's a great player, but right now, it's not working out for him. Of course, one of those wins for Indiana came in the last game before the All-Star break as they defeated the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, let's look at the game total here, Frank, because the Pacers, they've gone over the number in eight of their last 10 contests. Well, the Knicks, they've gone under in 10 of their last 14. You've talked a lot about their defense, how good it's been. Who's the key for the Knicks tonight in this game against Indiana? I'm looking at Mitchell Robinson. I think that he can have a really nice game here tonight. The Indiana Pacers struggle with big men, and Mitchell Robinson has had has scored in double figures in back-to-back -back games. And in the second half of the season, I expect to see more out of Mitchell Robinson, more minutes, more playing time, uh, and frankly, more opportunity. So going up against these Indiana Pacers, I think Mitchell Robinson can have a nice game tonight. We'll see what Mitchell Robinson can do for the Knicks, but we won't be able to see what Damian Lillard is going to do for the Blazers. He's out tonight. We'll talk about that game and more when we come back here on Inside the Lines. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in. And more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Back inside the lines, Greg Sussman and Frank Stample in Oklahoma City tonight. The Thunder are hosting the Denver Nuggets. The Thunder are a one and a half point favorite at home against a better Nuggets team. The total sits at 215 and a half. And OKC, I get why they may be favored. In fact, they have the best record against the spread in the NBA. But you think that's a little bit deceiving. Yeah, they've covered 65% of their games this season, Greg, but they've been undervalued earlier on in the season when you didn't really know what their motivation was. And I think the odds makers are starting to catch on a little bit. I still think that they're overvalued in this spot. Uh, they're one and a half point favorites. And frankly, I think the Denver Nuggets are just the better team in many key statistical categories. They're better offensively and defensively in terms of uh, efficiency this season. They're better in net rating, margin of victory as well. So straight up, I'm just taking the Denver Nuggets to win this game. I'm taking Denver Nuggets on the money line and it's because of Jamal Murray who I know you like a lot but since he's returned Greg averaging 29 points per game six assists per game on 57 percent shooting give me Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets to win this game you know I love Denver but I'm going with Jamal Murray that's my pick in this game over 20 and a half points for him he hasn't had less than 20 since he's been back 34 minutes in every game but that first one where he was limited let's move over to the Blazers and the Pelicans no Damian Lillard for Portland tonight and that makes them a five and a half point underdog at home according to the FanDuel Sportsbook the total sits at 239 it's a big number Frank but the Blazers have fallen to the Pelicans all three times they played this year by double digits in every single one yeah, I think that the Pelicans are a little bit overvalued in this spot, and they've been overvalued since Zion Williamson has returned. We're all excited about him, but they're just 5-5 five and five straight up, 5-5 five and five against the spread since he's returned. Portland has been a terrible team against the spread this season, so I'm going to avoid both sides. I'm going to go with a player prop as well here. I'm going to take C.J. McCollum. You mentioned there's no Damian Lillard. In two games without Lillard this season, he is averaging 29.5 points per game. Give me C.J. McCollum to go over his 25.5 points. One game's lucky, two's a streak, three is the trend, they make it 4-4 four four tonight. I'll take the Pelicans out right here, and I'll take them to cover the spread. Let's move on to our Dalla Hala, our long shot bet at the night. Everyone doesn't care about triple doubles anymore. It's clear. But Luka Doncic, who leads the league in triple doubles, gets another one in the first game after the All-Star break. He's in Orlando with the Mavericks. He gets a triple double tonight, Frankie. I'm going to take DeMar DeRozan to score 25-plus points and the Spurs win. You're getting that at plus 650. All right, the Knicks and the Pacers are coming up. But first, it's Knicks game night. Enjoy the game, everybody. We'll see you next time on Inside the Lines.